Joining us now, the Wyoming Republican Senator John Barrasso. He's a member of the Foreign Relations Committee. Senator, thanks for coming thanks in. Thanks for having me, Wolf. Uh, is all this fake news media manufactured that Russia interfered in the U.S. presidential election? I believe Russia did interfere and tried to do even more in the U.S. presidential election, but they're also trying to interfere in the upcoming election in Germany and in France. This is, clearly, this is clearly, clearly worthy this, of congressional investigation. Absolutely. And the Senate Intelligence Committee is moving along with a seriousness of purpose to get to the bottom of all of this. It's a bipartisan effort. We all want America to be safe, strong, and secure. They're going to get the answers. But this is nothing surprising when you think about Vladimir Putin. He is cunning. He is aggressive. He is opportunistic. And he's going to do anything he can, I believe, to try to destroy democracy worldwide. So does it bother you that the president calls it all phony, fake, uh, whatever uh, adjective he uses when he describes this Russia probe? No, I believe that it's real. I believe we need to do this probe and get to the bottom of it. You have a bipartisan group in the Senate. I think all of the senators who want to get to the bottom of it want to know the truth and want to share that with the American people. In addition to the Senate uh, Intelligence Committee investigation, there's going to be other investigations. I know Lindsey Graham, Sheldon Whitehouse, they're working on their own investigation. There's a House Intelligence investigation not going along that great. Should there also be beyond that an independent commission taking a look? Because the, the consequences, the stakes are really enormous if, in fact, the Russians did what the U.S. intelligence community believes they did do. Yeah, I have great confidence in the Intelligence Committee and the Senate to get to the bottom of it. So you don't think there's an no, independent I, commission I, I, I that's needed? doing its work. Uh, are you uh, frustrated by what you see going on in the House Intelligence Committee? Well, the, the House Speaker Ryan, they'll make the decisions on that, but I have great confidence in the seriousness of purpose. You see it with Chairman Richard Burr. You see it uh, with Mark Warner, the senator from Virginia, who has said this is the most uh, consequential thing he's done as a U.S. senator. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've heard him say that. He said it to me, in fact. Uh, I want to move on to health care because yes. there's a little confusion now. You were at that reception last night at the White House. Republican senators, Democratic senators were all invited there. The president was speaking. Uh, first, I want to play what the president mm -hmm. said and then Sean Spicer's reaction. Okay. I know that we're all going to make a deal on health care. That's such an easy one. So I have no doubt that that's going to happen very quickly. I think it will, actually. I think it's going to happen. Because we've all been promising, Democrat, Republican, we've all been promising that to the American people. So I think a lot of good things are going to happen there. So the deal that he's looking for is willing to have members come and talk to him and engage with um, on, on, on this whole area and figure out what it would take, what their ideas are to get there to grow that vote. And if they can do that and get to an area where we, we will have a majority of the House and can move it to the Senate, then we're going to engage in that. So you were there. Was, was the there. president joking when he said, uh, I think it, I, th that's such an easy one, talking about health care? I, I, I think everyone in the room smiled when he said it, Republicans and Democrats alike. And it was an important thing to do to have Republicans and Democrat members of the Senate there. But we all realize it's also very serious in terms of the, what we need to do for the American people. Even the day before the health care vote failed in the House, seven out of ten Americans said you either have to repeal in total or in part the, the, uh, Are you Obama ready to work uh, with Democrats to try to come up, not necessarily repeal the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, but to improve it? Are you at least ready to take that initial step? Because Democrats say, if you forget about the word repeal, but improve, fix, make it better, we're willing to work with you. Are you willing to work with them? No, I was talking earlier this morning with one of the Democrat members of the Senate uh, about what we need to do to move forward. Because, look, Americans need relief from this health care law where their, their premiums have gone up, the costs have gone up, the choices have gone down. In my whole state of Wyoming, there's only one person selling insurance. Rates have gone up 25 percent the past year across the country. Americans need a better so, solution. So what's the bottom line? Are you willing to work with Democrats and um, come up with an improved health care system? Forget about the word repeal, that. at least let for me, now. Let me tell you, from the beginning, I thought the Democrats were wrong to do it as a, as a party working alone. I think it'd be an equal mistake for the Republicans to do it alone. We need something that works for all of America as a doctor. We needed health care reform before I got to the Senate. We still need it. We are not there with uh, President Obama's plan, and I just think you need to work together to find the best solutions. And, and as a physician, I am committed to that solution. All right, let's quickly talk about Neil Gorsuch. He's yes. the nominee for the United States Supreme Court. Uh, the Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has set a date for a vote April 7th. Uh, 
the Democrats are threatening a filibuster. That means you need 60. You have 52 Republicans, 48 Democrats. Uh, if necessary, would you go along with what's called the nuclear option, eliminate that filibuster op, uh, op, you know, option, if you will, and go down to a, a, a simple majority 51, uh, but eliminate the, uh, the, the uh, filibuster for Supreme Court nominees? Every Supreme Court vote in the United States Senate for over 200 and some years has been an up or down vote. And Neil Gorsuch deserves that. I am committed to having him on the Supreme Court. I will do whatever it takes including, to make sure that happens. The nuclear option. And I will assure you that come uh, the uh, next week and a half, he will be confirmed and on the Supreme Court. But you Court. would vote for the, what's called the nuclear option. I will do whatever necessary. it takes to confirm him. He is the right person. He's mainstream. I think he's the best choice that President Trump could have ever made for the Supreme Court. He understands that it's important for a judge to apply the law, not legislate from the bench, and that's what he's going to do. I'll take that as a yes. Thank you, Thank you Senator Barrasso. Thanks, Thanks for very me. much for coming Thank in. You.